Hello everyone, um, I am going to work with exercise number three uh, from page 77 and 78. Um, here we have the, the exercise that says a holiday company charters an aircraft to fly to Malta at a cost of $22 uh, and it has uh, 200 seats, okay? Pay attention to this information. But we know that it sells 150 seats at 180, um, uh, 185 each and a further 35 seats at a 20 a percent discount. Calculate the profit made per seat if the plane has 200 seats. Six, uh, seats sorry. Um, oh, sorry, this is from other video. Um, okay, so let's write the information that we have. We know the cost price uh, taking into account the uh, 200 seats, okay, then we know that to calculate the selling price we need to take into account um, that this number of seats 150 seats were sell, sold sorry um, at 185 dollars and this uh, gives us the number this multiplication, the result is $27,750, okay? But then the other um, selling um, price is related to the 35 seats that were sold. And um, we don't know the price but we know that they receive a discount. This discount of 20% um, we need to calculate first uh, how much is this 20%. So I am going to use the famous rule okay, la regla tres simple para saber el descuento cuánto representa ese descuento sobre el precio original el precio original de venta es 185 dólares ok so what about the 20% of this number this would be the D of discount and I am going to write it like this remember that we need to do 20% multiplied by 185 divided by 100 and the result the discount is um, 37 dollars but this is not the price, this is the discount. To know the price, I need to make a subtraction. I will do 185 minus um, 37 and the result is $149. Okay, this is the minus. So, to know the selling price, it's quite long, I, sorry, to know the selling price, um, we need to add these two numbers, okay? So the final total price is thirty um, two thousand 
930. Okay, but the problem is that I need to know um, the profit made, I will mark it, calculate the profit made per seat if the plane has 200 seats. The problem is that um, only 185 seats were sold, okay? So, I need to divide the selling price divided by the 200 uh, seats that the plane has and this result is um, 100, I think, let me check 164.65 ok la idea es que en realidad nuestro, nuestro avión ¿sí? el avión que nosotros estamos vendiendo sus asientos tiene en total 200 asientos, pero yo vendí solamente 185 asientos. O sea que hay 15 asientos que me van a ir a pérdida, se diría. ¿Ok? Entonces, no puedo olvidarme de esos 15 asientos y hacer como que no existen. La idea es que los tengo que incluir en el precio de venta. ¿Sí? Entonces, por eso, o sea, si yo hubiera vendido todos los asientos tendría otro valor acá, ¿sí? Tendría un valor mayor porque vendí más asientos. El problema es que solo vendí 185. Entonces, para saber eh, cuánta plata eh, recibí por cada asiento real, ¿sí? Eh, tengo que dividir este total del precio de venta dividido los 200 asientos. Y esto me da un valor de... 164.65 eh, dólares, por decirlo de alguna manera. Ok, let's go back to English. So, to know the profit per seat, the profit per seat, I need to uh, make the subtraction selling price, um, the cost price, and as if this is a positive number, we make a profit, okay? So, which is the selling price? The selling price is 164.65 minus the cost price. Okay, so the profit is a fifty four point sixty five. Okay, and we finish. We have finished.